Big pile of shuttle, Novo category, is made of three minute blocks. In the first block, we have wall balls, one athlete working at a time. We want the crease of the hip to go below our knees with each squat, and we must hit the appropriate target. Once reps are completed, the team will complete as many synchro shuttle runs as possible. The next block, we have butterfly sit-ups, one athlete working at a time. For each rep, you must touch the floor behind your head and then touch the floor in front of your feet. In the remaining time of that block, the athletes will complete team shuttle runs for as many laps as possible. Our next movement is burpees, one athlete working at a time. For each burpee, our chest must touch the floor. We come to our feet and we must jump and bring our hands clearly above our heads with our hips at full extension for each rep. Again, any time left over in the three minute window and the team will complete as many team shuttle runs as possible. In the next three minute window, we have alternating hang clean and press, one athlete working at a time. The rep must start in the hang position. It will then not touch the floor. It must make contact with the shoulder before we then either strip press it, jerk it, or push press it over our head. Once all the reps are completed, we then move into as many team shuttle runs as possible. The next movement is bell hangers. Both hands must be on the rope above our head with our feet on the floor. We will then jump and swing our feet to touch the rope above our hands. Both feet must start on the floor and then both feet must make contact with the rope. Once these reps are completed, the team will complete as many team shuttle runs as possible in the remaining three minute window. For the last block, we have forward into reverse bear crawls. Both feet must start behind the marker and then both hands must cross the marker in front. For the movement standards, we need to ensure that your hands and shoulders are taking some of your body weight at all times. Once the bear crawls are completed, this is your final window to accumulate as many team shuttle runs as possible. At the end of the workout, you will have two minutes to accumulate as many synchro devil's press as possible. The amount of devil's press you do and the amount of shuttle runs you complete is the score for the workout.